Next up on the Mutual Audio Network, fiction from our future. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. This is a presentation from Dream Realm Enterprises, where dreams are our reality. Welcome back, oh faithful listener. I know we've been away for about two years, but so what? We're back now. I know you've been wondering what the bots have been up to in all that time. Well, you know, stuff. Yes, life has moved on. What was the last thing you heard? Oh yes, the League of Evil Bots. Dr. Philbot's dastardly plan to ruin Senticon Day and all other holidays. Well, he failed, as you may recall. Well, it has been two years, so I forgive you if you've forgotten. We almost forgot ourselves, but there will be repercussions. Dr. Philbot will be tried for his crimes, but you won't hear about any of that until next month when the sixth season officially premieres. This time around, it's the holiday season again, and so we're putting everything aside and just celebrating the spirit of the season with a little special. This one! So sit back, relax, grab a sugar plum, or whatever you've got handy, and enjoy our latest holiday special. Take it away, boys! Listening to episode number 60 of Robots of the Company, Holiday in Time, or the Santa Con Day Origin. Take your pick. Either way, it's technically the sixth season premiere, sorta, of, and was written by Jonathan Patrick Russell. Well, it's Santa Con Day again. It's the wee hours of the morning, all is quiet aboard the ship, and I'm on watch. I can't believe another year has gone by. <sighs> I am bored. Is that you talking to yourself, Punch? Well, I, uh, I guess I was, Zimtron. This night watch thing is so boring. I don't know what to do with myself. But someone has to keep an eye on things while the rest of the crew are deactivated for the night. So, Captain James gave you that job, eh? Well, who else would do it? So, when do you get any downtime? I mean, uh, do you ever, um, you know, rest? Oh, I get deactivated for a recharge every alternating Saturday. Oh. I see. Well, uh, this is awfully boring, so I'll just move on. Hey, Zimtron, did, did you hear that? I certainly heard something. I wonder what it could be. I don't know, but it's getting louder. Computer? Well, I don't know if I can help at the moment. I'm trying to pull myself together right now. Hey, can you candle things on your own just this once? No, computer, I really need you. I have a serious question that I need to ask. Well, okay then. If you just gotta shoot, partner. Can you tell me what the heck that strange noise is? It seems to be coming from everywhere. <laughs> Well, it, it's not a physical noise, but it seems to be psychic in nature. Yeah, does that help? Well, to be honest, not really, computer. Can you be more specific? Look, what do you want from me? I mean, what do I look like to you? And all knowing, gee gosh, all seeing Susie I mean, seriously. Do you imagine that I am the repository of all knowledge? Well, now that you mention it, yes! That's kind of your job, computer. You're supposed to be able to tell me the things that I want to know. All I want to know is what that strange noise is I'm hearing. And what noise would that be, Boyo? Because I have to be honest with you, 
I am not really hearing any noise at all, lads. Oh, for crying out loud. Never mind, computer. Just go back to whatever it is that you do all night long. Right. Back to playing pinball with the universe. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Just to go about your business and I'll go about mine. <laughs> Ta-ta, losers! <sighs> oh, boy. That computer seriously needs an overhaul. So, um, Punch, uh, what should we do now? Well, I, uh, I don't know. I, uh... Hello there. Ah, ah, oh, my, my electronic gods. What is it? Who, uh, I, uh, uh, I don't know, Zimmy. Hey, what are you? I am a time sprite, and I have been sent here to find out. Your help is needed. I have heard of you. You are the robots of the company. You are needed urgently. Oh, boy. If you've really heard of us, then you don't want our help. But I do. You see, I am from within time itself. There are cracks in time. Mistakes, if you will. And they need repaired. If you do not accompany me into the past, things will not be right. Look, I don't know what you're selling, but I ain't buying. I have duties here on the Titan too, and... Santacon Day? What? Don't you care about Santacon Day? Well, we all care about Santa Con Day. It's every bot's favorite holiday. But what do you have to do with the holiday season? Nothing. But unless you come with me, there won't be a holiday. It seems, much that you've got uh, no choice but to go with him. Uh, uh, um, uh, her, uh, 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 whatever it is. I'm a time sprite. And all time sprites are girls, you know. Then how do you, uh, you know, make other time sprites? Zimtron, that's a very personal question. Just ignore him and his silly question. Agreed. So, are you going to help? It is of vital importance that you do, you know. Well, okay. I mean, if you're sure that it's that important, I mean... Oh, I can't say I understand any of this, but I'll help save the holiday if I can, of course. I mean, I've done it before, so why not? So, what do we have to do? Wonderful. You two will come to the past with me. What? Oh, now, uh, wait just one moment. Uh, I I'm not made for adventures. Uh, tell her, Punch. We must ensure that Santa Con Day happens. You heard her, Zimtron. I'm not sure we have a choice. You don't. We have to travel into the past to ensure that SantaCon himself learns about SantaCon Day in order for him to launch the holiday. Wait a minute. But we already celebrate SantaCon Day every year. It was launched about 200 years ago and has been going ever since. No, it wasn't. SantaCon doesn't know he will launch your favorite holiday yet. You must convince him. Trust me on this. It's one of those time paradox things where the future must directly influence the past, otherwise the universe itself will cease to be. You know, I think I can live with that. It's been said before, and it bears saying again now. Shut up, Zimtron! So, you're both with me then? No way. You betcha. Excellent. Then prepare yourselves. I know I'm going to regret this, but sure, let's do it. Let's save SantaCon Day. Again. We're going to rust. What are we doing out here in all this snow? Not to worry. We're at the North Pole of the Universe. The what? I've never heard such nonsense. I'm with Zimtra on this one. What craziness is this? North Pole of the Universe? How can there even be such a thing? Trust me. It may make no scientific sense, but what part of your robotic lives have ever made any sense at all? Remember, I've been watching you bots for a long time. I know what crazy sorts of things you 
get up to? I suppose you have a point. She does? Sure. What makes sense in this crazy mixed up life we live? So the universe has a North Pole. Why should we be surprised? Oh, I give up. Can we just do whatever it is that we're going to do, and then get it over with, so I can go home to the nice, warm spaceship? I'm with Zimtron on this one. What do we have to do? It's simple. Just go in there, into that workshop there. The one that has the sign above it that says, Ice and Snow are us? Exactly. Go in there and give Santicon the idea for Santicon Day. Explain to him what a wonderful holiday it could be and what a wonderful opportunity he has to make all the bots in the galaxy happy beyond belief. This doesn't make me happy, you know. Shut up, Zimtron. Let's just do this, okay? Oh, whatever. Let's just get it over with. the heck are you? My name is Potch McMuddich, Sanicon, sir, and this is Zimtron. What do you want? Are you here for the ice and snow? Hardly. I'm about to rust as it is. What Zimtron means to say is, we're here to give you some friendly advice. Well, I could sure use some. This snow and ice business isn't going anywhere. There's so much of the stuff out there already. No one wants to buy any. It's a real mystery. Are you really that dense? Zimtron, do I need to say the magic words again? Uh, no, uh, uh, shutting up now, watch. Oh, this is so typical. Anyway, have you ever heard of a holiday from the ancient human culture called Christmas? Christmas? Can't say that I have. What was it like? Oh, it was wonderful. People used to gather on December 25th and exchange gifts, hugs, laughs, and... Eat until their tummies exploded. I, uh, can't see what was so great about that last part, but the humans seem to really enjoy it. Stupid humans. Shut up, Zimtron. Oh, and there was this old fella that they called, um, what was his name again, Zimtron? I think the Time Sprite said that his name was, um, Shanty Claws or, um, something like that. No, 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 Zimtron. You're an idiot. Do you know that? Oh, uh, sorry, Santa Con, sir. He was called Santa Claus. He dressed in red and had a long white beard and, and handed out toys to all the good little girls and boys. At least, that's what I'm told. Though I must admit, this all sounds rather far-fetched. You can say that again. But I like it. It's a quaint story, I must admit. I just wonder, why are you telling me all this? Well, I know you've been struggling with this snow and ice business here in the middle of the snowiest and iciest part of the universe, so I figured I'd just suggest a new occupation for you. And boy, you could use one, uh, sir, to become a modern-day Santa Claus. You could start a new tradition on the 25th of December and make a whole lot of bots really happy, especially one bot in particular I know of named Briscoe. Briscoe, huh? This Briscoe would like that, huh? Oh, he loves it. I mean, he will love it. Trust me. And you could call this new holiday SantaCon Day. Isn't that a bit self-serving? You think? Zimtron? Oh, just ignore him. No, not self-serving. Self, uh, celebratory. That's it. Celebrate your own jolliness. Hmm. SantaCon Day. Delivering gifts to all the bots in the galaxy. Hmm. Sounds potentially fun. Just, uh, one question. Who's going to pay for all this? Uh, pay? Well, this sort of massive operation will be rather expensive. Oh, yeah, right. That part wasn't explained to me. Well, uh, gee, is, is that the time? Now wait just one moment. This is your idea, so you need to explain to me exactly how I'm going to finance this operation. Oh, 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 boy. Uh, Zimtron? 
Oh, don't look at me. You got us into this mess. Besides, uh, I'm no financial wizard. You should have brought uh, GD or somebody. Oh, boy. How do I get myself into these things? Great going, Potch. How are you going to explain this one to poor Briscoe? I mean, not only will there not be a Santicon Day this year, but there won't be a Santicon Day any year. So, my robot friends, how did it go with old Santicon? Um, well, it went fine. I mean, he really liked the idea of Santicon Day. Good, good. So, he's ready to do it then, right? Well, not exactly. Not exactly. What do you mean by that? I think the word Potch is struggling to come to grasp with is failure. As in, Potch McDuttage is a massive, massive failure. That's it. We've all failed. There will never be a Saturn day. We, we, we changed the future. Which means... Yes? Which means what? That you two have no future to go back to. Oh, boy. This is huge. This is terrible. I just don't understand what went wrong. I planned this out so well. I can't imagine why he'd not want to do it. Maybe it had something to do with the fact that his ice and snow business, which he tried running in the iciest and snowiest part of the universe, stupid old Santicon, led him to bankruptcy. I mean, if I haven't made the point enough already, what an idiot. Wait, what? I said Santicon is the universe's biggest idiot. Oh no, he isn't. It's me. Well, I wasn't going to say that. Um, uh, wait, I was going to say that next. Yes, I'm just glad that we're in agreement about something. I'm so silly. Of course he needs funding. Now you're getting it, Sherlock. Well, that's an easy fix. It is? What? Sure it is. All we have to do is go back in time to earlier in the week and make sure SantaCon wins the 500 billion space dollar lottery jackpot. Easy. Easy. You... you... you can do that? Of course I can do that. I'm a time sprite. I can do anything. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's brilliant. That's fantastic. We, we're saved. Did you hear that, Zimtron? We're saved. We saved Santacon Day. Again. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, zippity do. You have been listening to the 2011 holiday special of Robots of the Company, or more technically known as the sixth season premiere. Or even more technically than that, episode 60, which was titled Holiday in Time, or the Santicon Day Origin. Whichever you prefer, hey, you make the call. Which was written by Jonathan Patrick Russell, and which starred, in order of appearance, Joe J. Thomas as Putch, Jeff Niles as Zimtron, David Alt as the Titan 2 computer, Stefania Lindenmon as the Times Right, and John Morse as Jolly Old Santicon. Robots of the Company holiday theme tune was composed and performed by Daryl Looney. The incidental music was provided by Kevin McLeod. The post-production editor was Jeff Niles. The sound designer, script editor, producer, and director was Jonathan Patrick Russell. The series Robots of the Company was created by Jonathan Patrick Russell, and the copyright is held by Dream Realm Enterprises. Any rebroadcast or reproduction of this program without the express written permission of Dream Realm Enterprises is directly prohibited. 
thank you for listening. We invite you to visit us on the web at dreamrealmsite.com. And if you'd like to email us with any of your comments or questions, you may do so at darkbuilding1 at yahoo.com. If you have complaints, send them someplace else. We were whisked back through time during the making of this audiogram. Join us next time, in roughly one month from the first time this episode premiered, as the robots of the company's sixth season continues with a crazy little episode we like to call the Reality Bomb. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. That's right, our sixth season really gets kicked off in 2012. And you better be there, or else you might be considered square. And nobody wants that. <laughs> Until then, this is the Creditor, as always, asking you to please stay tuned. Oh, and happy, happy holidays. <laughs> I made a funny, probably the funniest joke in the whole darn episode. You are welcome. Copyright 2011, Dreamill Enterprises. All rights reserved. If you produce audio dramas, it obviously isn't to become rich and famous. You love the medium, and you want to share your passion for theater of the mind. The Mutual Audio Drama Network is looking for you. Mutual presents audio dramas every day of the week, each with its own genre. Mystery, sci-fi, comedy, horror, all reaches of the imagination. It doesn't matter if you produced your shows years ago or are still cranking them out. Share them on the world's largest collection of modern audio drama and audio fiction. Give a listen at MutualAudioNetwork.com. And if you'd like to be a part of the excitement, with free access to all sorts of voices, sound effects, music, and more, just drop a line to mutualaudio at gmail.com. The Mutual Audio Drama Network. Why not join us today?